Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, it's me, Alky Vegan again, and basically I just want to come to you guys with some new addition, I guess, plants, uh, you know, uh, that I'm going to talk about here. Now, I normally try to deal with plants that I can eat, um, because I'm not a decorative person, but I was watching, I think it was uh, Ted's talk, and NASA, and somebody was on there, NASA representative, uh, was basically talking about the plants that they did a test on that if you get these plants in your house um they can give you a better breathing environment um you know a lot of us who are trying to grow organically and grow at home um we're health conscious anyway and so we try to watch what we put in our body so i thought it was perfect to put this on uh, my channel so what these plants do is we know that all plants um take carbon dioxide um and make oxygen not all of them do it equally um, there's a lot of chemicals I can't pronounce the name of them um, but I probably you know given time I'll put the link below um, so that you can read more information that some of these toxins are in the air and the water um, they're in a lot of things and we breathe them in on a daily basis which can hinder our health over a long period of time um, so some of the plants um, that that to get rid of both um, of the all of the chemicals in both categories um, because the link that you're going to look at there's a link um, some plants get rid of one or the other but these plants that I got here um, they get rid of both and most people already probably have these plants in their house um, but the way you should position them is you should position two or three in one room um, so I, I'm building up on um, the plants you should build um, two or three of each plant, I should say. So here is the first one. Um, I think this is Chinese Evergreen. Uh, this one, I, I'm not sure which one, you know, detox at night, but um, I think throughout the day, one of them, uh, you know, get rid of, you know, starts to absorb everything and releases oxygen at night. So these are good plants to have by your bedside. Um, we all know about, I'm pretty sure everybody heard of the mother-in-law plants. Um, that's another name for them. Um, but we've all seen these. I've seen them when I was growing up. Never thought anything about them. But it's amazing what plants can do for us. Um, and of course these, we all know about these here. Um, these things grow crazy wild. But they're very beneficial for providing oxygen and whatnot. Then uh, we have... This is a, uh, let's see if we can get the, it's an ivy. It just said ivy, but you want to look for uh, Hedera helix. All right. If that can focus. Okay, so there it is. That one is very, very good as well. Um, I was surprisingly enough, everybody know about aloe vera. Uh, aloe vera plants are good for a lot of things. And they're good for producing oxygen. Didn't know that one. So I have two of the uh, IV plants. And uh, yeah, this is just, um, I just set my little office up here. Nothing spectacular. Um, but I put some nice uh, things on the wall here. <laughs> and it just to keep me motivated, okay? Uh, do what makes you happy. And that's in everything. Whatever makes you happy. Being in my office here. Uh, working from home, that makes me happy. It makes me so happy that I can't even believe it. You know, um, I don't want to go into detail why it makes me happy, but it does. Um, here, oh, and here's a reminder to myself. Um, every day I leave my office, uh, don't forget to be awesome. So, you know, just look quotes that I thought that I um, put on the wall as I come through. Because I do read them and, it, you know, when you read stuff, it does kind of subconsciously sinks in the in the head and then i picked this one up i thought this one was cool um that says given enough coffee i could rule the world um so that's like facing time i walk in the office because i'm gonna need some coffee once i get sit down and whatnot um but here in in my office as well i'm gonna be growing uh some microgreens um i got kale chris turnips Armorth and mustard greens. And 
microgreens are very, very different seeds than regular seeds. So if you're going to be growing microgreens, I highly suggest you look for some that says microgreens. Uh, this company, very cheap. Um, I got like one of these big old things full of seeds. I'm talking about it's packed. No more than $10 did I pay for any of these seeds. And um, if you get regular seeds, you're going to pay maybe about 2 or $3 dollars for just a little pack. So um, you get your money's worth when you're doing mustard greens, I mean micro seeds, um, but you do use a lot of them and eat them fairly quickly. And uh, the company, if you guys want to look it up, is mvcs.com. Um, so definitely check them out. They have lots of um, micro greens at very, very low prices. I found these handy dandy things right here and they're kind of stylish plus I uh, look, found these at Walmart. I'm just going to lay a bed of um, soil that I got outside and uh, you know press it tightly put the just sprinkle the microgreens over there put another little small layer and then boom let them grow and then you know clip off of them boom 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 and my plan of action is to plant some one day wait about three days later plant another row and like that so that I have a steady flow of uh, microgreens and they don't overlap and get too big and I don't have to rush and try to eat them all well that's been my little journey on my little office and these plants I hope you guys find it helpful um, insightful if you like this video and, and want to stay tuned for my, my uh, upcoming videos go ahead and like hit the like button and subscribe and uh, see you guys later uh, God bless